Hello, I'm Sasna Krasari. In this video, I'd like to introduce our paper about dynamically adaptive machine speed chain inference for TTS in noisy environment, listen and speak louder. This work was done by Sasna Krasari, Sakrani Sakti and Satoshi Nakamura from Nara Institute of Science and Technology, Enriken, Japan. Recent TTS successfully produced natural sounding speech that the standard systems are commonly developed by assuming that they are operating in ideal clean environment. So when the environment becomes noisy, as we can hear, TTS cannot perform well in noisy situation. Humans, on the other hand, speak louder in noisy place, which called us the Lombard effect. For example, under terms previously reported, the Italian agricultural concern. So some existing works try to address this problem by fine tuning the TTS using Lombard speech, but noise can be unpredictable, so we cannot provide all data in advance. Humans, on the other hand, don't do fine tuning before speaking in noisy place, but we adapt ourselves to the situation dynamically. So how we can do this? Humans speak while listening, a process that also known as speech chain. So in conversation, first we plan the speech and then we speak. At the same time, we listen to our voice. The auditory feedback here plays a critical role to plan the next speech. So by doing this process continuously, we can adapt ourselves in the noisy situation by speaking louder. So uh, meanwhile, machine, they cannot listen to their own speech, so they cannot adapt to the real situation. So to overcome this problem, this work proposed TTS that is able to process auditory feedback. So in the noisy place, TTS will speak louder with a high intelligibility. The idea of speech chain has been implemented in machine as a machine speech chain framework. It was proposed by Chandler et al. for a semi-supervised training mechanism for TTS and ASR. Machine speed chain connects ASR and TTS with a feedback loop, and this feedback loop enables us to train the ASR and TTS using unlabeled data through two unrolled processes, ASR to TTS and TTS to ASR. So here, we can improve the ASR and TTS together using either speech data only or text data only. But unfortunately, the feedback loop is only utilized during training process. So in the inference, ASR and TTS systems are separated like in the standard system. So the TTS here still cannot adapt to the noisy environment like humans. So based on the current situation, in this work, we propose a new generation of machine speed chain which is an advanced version of the existing machine speed chain. Here, the feedback is utilized not only during training, but also during inference. And in this work, we apply it to TTS for noisy environment to do dynamic adaptation. So to synthesize a speech, we connect the TTS with modules that provide auditory feedback. The feedback here are SNR and SR loss that represent the TTS speed quality. And we also apply a variance adapter in our TTS to predict the speech velocity. Previously, several works were proposed for TTS in noisy situation. First, there were parametric models with HMM models. The applied method was generally TTS post-processing and fine-tuning using Lombard speech data. In the neural network approach, uh, there is an approach using transfer learning with Lombard speech data. And then another approach is by multi-style TTS, which we provide the desired speech style as an embedding. So although there are many works that study Lombard TTS, the existing works only perform offline tuning and the Lombard TTS that is able to adapt to the situation dynamically has not been explored yet. So in this work, we focused on constructing an end-to-end -end Lombard TTS with dynamic adaptation using auditory feedback. Now let's see the proposed methods. 
The basic DTS structure in this work is transformer-based DTS based on Tacotron. The input is character sequence and the output is speech features. And in the experiment, we conduct the experiment on multi-speaker data. So the TTS has a speaker embedding module in here. And the structure of speaker embedding is based on deep speaker, like in the original machine speech chain. So based on this basic structure, we explored three kinds of TTS structure with different feedback configuration to do the automatic adaptation in noisy situation. Now let's see the details of each structure on the next slide. First is TTS with SNR embedding. In this TTS, the arbitrary feedback is SNR of the noisy speech. So this picture uh, illustrates the SNR embedding module. It will take a noisy speech as the input to predict the embedding vector. This module consists of stack of convolution and residual block layers, similar to the speaker embedding. And before we train the TTS, SNR embedding is uh, pre-trained as the SNR recognition model first to make the TTS easier to converge later. And inside the TTS, SNR embedding is utilized in the encoder output and decoder input, along with the speaker embedding with a sum operation. And then the second structure is TTS with SNR and SR loss embedding. So here we have two auditory feedbacks. One is SNR embedding, like in the previous structure. And second is SR loss embedding. This picture illustrates the, S, the SR loss embedding module that maps an SR loss into embedding space. And the module structure here is the same as the SNR embedding. To get the SR loss embedding, first we use an SR to recognize the noisy TTS speech, and then we calculate the loss between the correct text and the SR text. And then we use it as the embedding input to get the SR loss embedding. The SR loss embedding is utilized in the encoder output and decoder input together with the other embedding through a sum operation. And then the next structure is TTS with SNR, SR loss embedding, and variance adapter. The auditory feedback here is SNR information and SR loss, similar to the previous structure. But in this one, we also use a variance adapter, which previously proposed in fast speech to guide this TTS speech prosody by predicting the prosody's attributes. The variance adapter consists of three components, intensity predictor, pitch predictor, and duration predictor. Our variance adapter is applied on the encoder. So in the encoder, after we get the transformer output and the auditory feedback, all of them are combined into one and then sent to the variance adapter. Inside the variance adapter, each predictor will predict the speech prosody and the results are summed to the input as the final encoder output. Now let's see the experiments. First is the experiment setting starting from data. Our experiments are based on Wall Street Journal data which consists of clean multi-speaker English speech. And then to simulate noisy speech, we also made noisy Wall Street Journal speech data by combining the original Wall Street Journal speech with the noise. The noise sounds here were white noise and bevel noise, and the SNR conditions were SNR zero and SNR minus 10. The third data is Lombard's natural Lombard speech. The natural Lombard speech was recorded by asking a single male speaker to read a speech transcription in noisy condition. And then based on the natural Lombard speech recording, we made a synthetic Lombard speech dataset, which is the original Wall Street Journal speech with the prosody modified into Lombard speech. 
and we used this data set mainly to train the proposed TTS. Next is our system configuration. The experiment top line is the natural Lombard speech, and this table shows the architecture and the training data of the baseline TTS and the proposed TTS. All uh, TTS systems here have the same encoder and the coder layer size, but they differ in the feedback components. And our baselines here are the standard TTS and also the TTS that is fine-tuned using Lombard speech. For TTS feedback generation, we also trained an ASR and SN recognition model using the clean and noisy Wall Street Journal data. And now let's see the result. In this experiment, we evaluated that the DTS performance by speech intelligibility measured as ASR character error rate or CR by recognizing the TTS speech with noise. This table shows the speech intelligibility of the baseline system, proposed TTS and the natural speech at different SNR levels. These SNR values are the SNR before the adaptation. So here, the best uh, TTS system with the proposed TTS with SNR and SR loss embedding and blurriness adapter. So it resulted on the lowest CR in the noisy situation, outperforming the fine-tuned baseline. Now let's hear some speed example. So first is the standard TTS in clean condition. On your terms previously reported the Italian agricultural concern. And then noisy situation. As you can see, we almost cannot recognize the TTS speech here. And then the fine tune model. The returns previously reported the Italian agricultural concern. The proposed system. The returns previously reported the Italian agricultural concern. Under terms previously reported, the Italian agricultural concern. Under terms previously reported, the Italian agricultural concern. And then human speech. Under terms previously reported, the Italian agricultural concern. So we have seen that the best proposed system successfully adapted to the situation dynamically. Now let's see how the auditory feedback affected the TTS performance. This graph shows the TTS speech intelligibility with various embedding coefficient. This experiment was done by applying a coefficient to SNR embedding and SR loss embedding in the encoder output and decoder input. The default coefficient was one for both embedding. So in clean condition, the best performance was achieved when, when the SR coefficient was 1 and SNR coefficient was 0. So in this condition, TTS only utilized ASR feedback. But in the noisy environment, the best performance was achieved when both SR and SNR coefficient were equal to 1. So in this experiment, it shows us that SNR and SR feedback are equally necessary. Next, let's see how this feedback loop affects the TTS speech. So as we see before, the proposed TTS synthesized the speech in several feedback iterations. The effect of feedback iteration number can be seen on this graph. So as we can see here, a higher loop iteration resulted on the better performance in noisy condition. So this experiment result implies that the proposed TTS performed dynamic adaptation in several loops, listen to its own voice in a noisy environment, and then speak louder. This is the conclusion. In this work, we constructed a dynamically adaptive machine speech chain inference framework to support TTS in noisy conditions. Our proposed uh, systems with auditory feedback and variance adapter successfully produce a highly intelligible speech. And this result uh, revealed that the dynamic adaptation with auditory feedback is critical, not only for human speech production, but also in speech generation by machines. Thank you for watching this video.